Well, would you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? I know a lot of you guys out there are like, yeah, whatever. I've had these for years. Well, <laughs> this is the first time I've had them flower. So this is uh, formerly known as Aloe Striatula. It's Alo Aloe Ampelostriatula now. Probably the most cold hardy aloe type of plant you're going to be able to grow. Uh, I planted it, it's 2023. I planted it in summer of 2021. It was just one stock and uh, it grew, you know, it grew into a few stocks that summer. And that winter we had a really bad ice storm. Uh, and when the ice got on it, it actually heavily damaged the tissue. They froze back. They almost had like mini spear pull, almost like a, a palm tree. Just kind of was pulling these out. And what happened was uh, I was only left with a few stems that survived. But I saw like right here, the new growth coming out. So what I did was, because I know these things are really tough and I learned this from Yorkshire Chris, um, I just cut them off and I shoved them in the ground. That's all I did. And they grew and they've been growing. So this past winter, we got really cold and I thought these things were gonna be damaged and they were totally fine. You know, they, they took minus seven with no issues. And I guess because they survived, they are starting to reward me with some flowers and I'm sure the hummingbirds are going to love them. So you can see the nice orange color. They haven't quite opened up on the bottom. So I'll have to show you when they actually do start opening, but that is a neat flower. And look at all this new growth coming out of the center. So that's about uh, three foot around, about three feet high. So bigger than I was expecting. So let's go look at some of the other ones. So these are ones, these were just, basically a cutting that I just, I jammed in the ground. I didn't do anything else. All I did was cut it, stick it in the ground and they started to grow. So that one, look at this one here. It's really coming along in size. And uh, I got one more down there. You can see the flowers. So this is a highly recommended plant by me. If you get a very cold event or you get a, they get covered in freezing ice, don't despair. These things seem to be very root hardy and they will come back. And when that new growth comes back, it's really nice and lush. So this, uh, a lot of this kind of browner growth in the center, that's the older growth. This is all new this year, all this nice lush. They do have a little bit of um, some teeth and they're very, you know, they have that kind of thick feel, almost like an aloe, like a regular aloe such a cool plant you know obviously they like good drainage or sharp drainage as the Brits say other than that give them a lot of sun and uh, you don't have to worry so much about the water on these things they're quite tough I can tell you that this soil here is bone dry and uh, it's probably loving it doing great in it so alloy ampelo striatula definitely a recommended plant and like I said you only need to buy a small one and it's very easy to propagate and get them all over so um, I think when I bought mine it only cost me $12 well worth it so if you can find one you should thanks for watching